study about chapter 2 that's your relation function most basically in today's video we're gonna study about relation before we start we can just say that in mathematics also it's all about finding patterns or link between any two numbers or qualities to change so that's in our daily life we come across many patterns or relation just like in say that relation between brother or sister father and son or even you can say that teachers and student in mathematics also we come across such kind of relation if i have to demonstrate precisely i will say that i can say number m is less than number n there's also one relation or line l is parallel to line m another relation which is happens to be in parallel or i can say that set a is a subset of set b so this kind of relation we shall learn about it right now so a relation is defined as let a and b be two known empty set then the relation R from A to B is a subset of A cross B. Remember this line, okay, subset. I can say that thus R is a relation from A to B even only if R is a subset of A cross B. So if A comma B, that's not appear, belongs to R, then we say A is related to B and we write A R B. That's your demonstration or uh, denoted form of a relation, A R B. Okay, and next one is if A comma B does not belongs to R, then we write A is not related to B. So I will, we just have to give a cross line between R. So that's how we know we know it. All right. Now, uh, some demonstration of a relation, which is right right now popping in the video, is the first one is known as a domain range and codomain. Okay. So it's given that let R be a relation from A to B, then R is a subset of A cross B. Number one, the set of all first coordinates of elements of R is called the domain of R, written as DOM R. Number two, the set of all second coordinates of element of R is called the range of R, denoted by range R. And lastly, number three is given the set B is called the domain, oh sorry, called domain of R. Okay, though these three points are known as the domain, range, and codomain. All right, let us do some exercise in order to know what is relation, domain, codomain, and range. The definition is I have already given, so let's just try to illustrate better. Okay, over here, if you can see, your given is given that let A is equal to 1, to 3, till 14. So that means the set A belongs to 1, till 14. So define relation R from A to A. Remember, it's given A to A. So there is no second set, okay? There's only one set. Okay, by r is equal to x comma y such that 3x minus y is equal to 0 and x comma y belongs to it. It means both the elements of x and y should belong to it. It shouldn't go mean, uh, further than that. So it's given write down its domain, codomain and range. Before I write down its domain, code, uh, codomain and range, let me write down what is the relation first. So your r is given to be x comma y such that 3x minus y is equal to 0 where x comma y belongs to a so your relation would be now if i happen to take the value of x to be the first one so i'm just do it at the rough if i happen to take the value of x to be the first one one yes or no so there will be 3 into 1 the answer should be 0 so what should be y in order to make 0 that should be 3 or not so both your 1 and your 3 belongs to A. If you can see 1, 3 belongs to A. So I can say yes. So that will be 1, 3. Next, if I happen to go with 2, that's a value for x, okay? So 3 into 2. 3 to the 6. So minus 6 is equal to your 0. So 6 also belongs to A. So I can say that it's nothing more than 2, 6. Similarly, if I go with 3 so 3 3 is a 9 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 so 9 also belongs to a so i can go with 3 comma 9 and if i go with 4 comma okay, 4 so it will be 3 for the 12 so 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 and 12 also belongs to a so it's correct so there will be 4 comma 12 right lastly if i happen to go with 5 so it will be 3 into 5 that will be for x i would take into 5 from a so 3 5 is a 15. So 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. But 15 is not there in your A. And in the question is quietly mentioned that X and Y so both belongs to what? A. So I cannot go more further. 
so that's all about your legend now comes your domain now according to the definition your domain of r would be the first element of your relation so first element of relation happens to be what one two three four yes or no right and similarly uh, if i do your range what is the range your range happens to be your range r your range happens to be nothing more than the second element of your relation. What is the second element of your relation? 3, 6, 9, and 12. So that's your range. Now lastly, if I haven't defined your codomain. Your codomain. Your codomain of R. Now, in the beginning itself, I have mentioned over here very carefully that your both the elements are A and A. Set is A and A. There is no second set. Actually, your codomain definition is your second set, but as there is no second set, I can say your codomain of R is nothing more than A, or I can just write on the value of A. So there's one, two, three, it goes until your 14. So that's all about your question number one. All right, question number three is given A is equal to one, two, three, five, B is equal to four, six, eight. Define a relation R from A to B by R is equal to X, comma, Y. The difference between X and Y is odd. Remember, the difference between X and Y is odd, where X belongs to A and Y belongs to B. So the elements of X should belong to your element or your set A, and the elements of Y should belong to the elements of your set B and it's given right in rooster form so if I write on this one rooster form so your R would be nothing more than if I happen to take the value of X to be 1 then 4 if I take 4 and 1 minus 4 is how much minus 3 minus 3 happens to be in odd so that's possible similarly 1 6 that's also possible because 6 minus 1 or 1 minus 6 is nothing more than your 5 right that's the odd number what about 1 and 9 1 minus 9 is 8. So that's not possible because I define only the odd. So when it's done, similarly, a 2 will be how much? 2, comma, 4 is not possible because it will be even. 2, comma, 6 not possible. So it will be 2, comma, 9. So I'm done. 2 over 3. So it will be 3, comma, 4. Why? Because that's 1 and 3, comma, 6. That's also possible. And lastly, 5. 5 is 5, comma, 4 and 5, comma, 6. 5,9 is not possible because it will be 4. 4 and 4 is your even number. So that's your relation in your roster from. Okay, before I go with question number 4, there's a pop up at your video. That's an error diagram. It's given that let R be a relation from A to B. Then we draw two bounded figures to denote A and B. We put dots to represent the elements of A and B for each A comma b belongs to r we draw an arrow from a to b so let's do question number four taking the help of your arrow diagram is given that the figure shows a relationship between the sets p and q write this relation in set builder form and number two in roster form so your p is given this diagram and your q is given this circle so there's an arrow that connects p and q so basically i can say that here your P, what are the elements of P? 5, 6, 7. And your Q, what are the elements of U? 3, 4, 5. Yes or no? Now, the question says, uh, I have to write them first in your set builder form. So if I have to write on this one first in your set builder form, so that will be number 1. Number 1 in set builder form. So I have to find the relation. So your R would be X comma Y such that now if you can see I got here 5 I got here 3 I got here 6 I got here 4 and I got here 7 I got here 5 okay let me just put it down a little bit so the relation between P and Q is that uh, if you can see 5 and 3 6 and 4 7 and 5 they are related somewhere 5 minus 2 is how much 3 6 minus 2 is how much 4 7 minus 2 is how much? 5. So I can say that they are related with minus 2 in all the three terms. So I can say y is equal to x minus 2. Okay. So where your x belongs to p. What is p? That's it. 
So if you take x to be p, so p is how much? 5. 5 minus 2 is how much? 3. So that's your y. Yes or no? And y will be nothing more than your q. You cannot go more than that. So those are all about your set builder form. Number 2. Your number 2 is given to be in rooster form. Your rooster form. Your rooster form would be what over here? Mm, I can say your rooster form would be nothing more than if x happens to be 5, so your y will happens to be 3 because they are connected, right? Similarly, uh, 6, 4, and 7, 5. So that's all about your rooster form. And lastly, in the equation, it's also given, right? It's domain in range. So your domain, so your domain of R. Domain of R means the first element of your relation. So that's nothing more than your 5, 6, 7. Or I can say P and your range of R would be 3, 4, 5. Or I can say the set Q. So that's all about your question number 4. Alright, let's do question number 8. It's given that uh, let A is equal to X, Y, Z and B is equal to 1, 2. And the question is given, find the number of relation from A to B. Okay, for this question, you have it in this manner, as you know, that you have just popping up the video is given that the total number of relation that can be defined from a set A to a set B is the number of possible subset of A into B. If n of A is equal to P and n of B is equal to Q, then n of A into B is equal to PQ and the total number of relation is 2 to the power PQ. So that's how we're going to do. So that will be, uh, first of all, I will find the relation between A and B. So A cross B would be how much? The first element with the first one, so x comma one, x comma two. So x is done. Go with y, y comma one, y comma two. Now lastly, go with z, uh, z comma one, z comma two. So done. So your number of elements of a cross b. So how much will that be? Would be count one, two, three, four, five, six. So that will be six. So therefore, the number of subset number of subset of a cross b is nothing more than n of p of a cross b it's also known as a power set which will be 2 to the power 6 so that's your answer